good evening friends again huh? <laughs> so uh, i will introduce myself i am professor art decker i was uh, working earlier in kelloskar uh, uh, at uh, dharwad and cooper engineering limited in uh, heat treatment and quality control foundry and i have worked in college of engineering pune karar nagpur and finally at 30 years of as the head of the mechanical engineering department and metallurgy from bagubai polytechnic vele parle here i was acquainted with uniapex for a long time i know how the people there if you can remember earlier i was coming unitary ten uniapex and all the for um i have done my regular b metallurgy and uh, me production and particularly management now presently i am uh, involved in the management aspect for um, various areas like quality control and other thing so i will uh, highlight because of the time shortage and other thing because you are already working you know what are the different types of the defects and from management point of view our objective is to reduce the cost of production naturally the increase in profit so cost of production and the productivity improvement so naturally there are quality improvement techniques and nowadays in every organization we are focusing on the quality improvement techniques so all these defects and your quality measures and performance naturally it will give a profit so ultimately we are interested here in how we can reduce the consumption fuel consumption electrical consumption raw material consumption and get a very good quality product from heat treatment it is not possible that we can avoid the heat treatment there was a trial in uh, abroad that by avoiding the heat treatment how you can achieve the property particularly in case of os tempering the trial and earlier but it is not 100% second my objective is that every time now we can talk about the zero defect concept correct and slightly changing because this is a analysis and what we want to achieve just this is the defect which is produced in the product and we are taking preventive means measures and we are saying that yes all the defects are controlled but if you can have the basic concept yes i want to reduce the defect i want to improve the quality of the heated product then what type of these action should be taken right so on that basis the zero defect concept should be developed by everyone nowadays and it is a zero defect when we talk then it is not possible otherwise <laughs> our india would have gone for the uh, latter stages right sir so zero defect how we can achieve from every stage of production from product right at the same time in the heat treatment so in heat treatment one thing is the technical control second is the manpower control that is you have to change the attitude and work of the persons working in heat treatment area and every person when is alert or this is the defect this is the loss this is my loss japanese concept of that quality management then i think that a uh, lot of defects can be automatically <laughs> reduced and uh, we can improve the culture quality culture defect free culture in our heat treatment shop similar to everywhere every shop it is there uh, defects are classified as you know in uh, different ways so number one based on the equipment due to the equipment faulty equipment how the defects are there consumables used in the heat treatments from that how it is there and in work how you are working the performance parameters in the heat treatment area second thing is that what type of the heat treatment process you are carrying out different people are there different working conditions different heat treatments ferrous materials different heat treatment defects non ferrous he has given the solution treatment for the there is some materials so non ferrous and other areas so particularly uh, we are not introduced we are getting introduced afterwards so we will come to know the exact what is the area what are the problems and what are the defects produced 
then and then it is possible otherwise uh, it is a long discussion that overall the defects in so many materials so many heat treatments so just like the annealing normal conventional methods like annealing normalizing hardening tempering and this uh, specialized uh, tailor made processes like patenting or tempering ma tempering too so what type of the defects are produced that means how we have to control the process process control parameters performance measurements and then we can analyze deeply this is the material this is the process these are the defects whether they are regularly coming or what is the frequency by statistical quality control we can have that report and we can control it so sqc techniques and other modern methods of quality management can be used to control the defects to achieve our objective so next is the what type of the controls you are having uh, because either you are going a batch type production or a continuous production uh, earlier the examples are given by in, in induction hardening once you set all these things and your batches are coming online on continuous induction hardening and if it is slightly variation then you are getting the defects in the all induction hardened component again the equipment so many techniques uh, you are develop i hope so control systems uh, and uh, even other uh, rajesh sharma was also telling so if such a type of the controls new highly sophisticated equipments and other thing if we are incorporating it helps to control our defects and uh, so consumables the quenchant that uh, dr tiwari has told from pk devar pk devar is the in charge for that um, quenchant manufacturing hard castle board company they are also facing lot of problems indian oil hp they are supplying some quenchant media and other thing so many people are there even so many people are there to manufacture the salt circle for salt bath furnaces and other thing so if you can see these are the suppliers how they give us the material and what are the qualities available with those consumables maybe for the heating bath maybe for salt bath quenching and other thing maybe for different types of the quenching only we say that yes water is there what is the temperature of the water what type of the material we are having from management point of view we have to make a complete plan process plan that this is my material what is my objective i want this specification correct what is specification for a particular component this is the design of the component these are the mechanical properties these are the service properties which are required these are the structural properties are required and performance qualities are required once you have the set of the requirement what i want in my product then accordingly you can select so we are going ahead so then you select for what type of the heat treatment is required as i told you different heat treatment different thing so from that the heat treatment what type of the equipment is required because so many equipments are there nowadays highly sophisticated and precise then what type of the consumer same material is given by the num- number of suppliers so what type of the material which suits to my operation what is the quality and other thing that you can have. in short you have to make a complete plan then and then that is a defect prevention plan first step second step third step flow diagram if you can do and check and give your operators or other people you follow this then and then you have a good quality of the product because we are using the zero defect concept kanban process or this other uh, pokai process zen process so many were there what is this zero error okay and then you can have a cont- error free defects that yes i have g- taken this equipment it is correct doors are closed it is giving a accurate result no calibration is required then you can go to the another way that that is proper maintenance of the equipment is there that you are con- checking then consumables you are checking yes don't i am taking all the consumables which are required they are perfect we at every stage i feel that we have to check each and everything that means it is said that don't give the error or defective things to other don't accept also that we have to some checklist 
and suppose from one shop or other operation you are going for the next operation don't accept like that you take this one of the component yes okay so don't give the wrong or uh, defective materials or components to other don't accept also and don't give to the others also that is what one two three stage cycle is there then and then you can control so in heat treatment area what is the required number one is a specification of material material is correct many times it is observed that wrong material wrong specification is coming uh, if you have time i give a small examples once we were doing the jobbing work of kirloskar uh, and pins were there which are uh, used for the hardening and tempering uh, people don't know the exact because suppliers are giving we are putting into the stores and all thing and directly we are giving this is the material this is treatment then okay all the pieces were jumping like crank and there afterwards it is observed that why it is like that why cracking then chemical analysis okay as usual our structure everything is done processing and then afterwards that whatever the alloying element was required say nickel or manganese molybdenum it was not a proper it was a different specification steel which has a loaded and unloaded at that place that means purchase is also or other inspection departments are also correlated to that so it is necessary we should not depend on that what i want to say you should check and confirm yourself finally blame is coming to you no ha huh? you are not done or but basically whether the material is correct that is what i told you first of all you check whether your incoming material is correct or not 